So, Mr. Reza Ardakanian, for which organization are you working? I'm director of UN Water Decade Program on Capacity Development. This program established in 2007 in Bonn, Germany, hosted by United Nations University, is one of the program of the UN Water, and as you know, UN Water is an interagency mechanism, including 26 UN agencies and programs and uh, some uh, other uh, organizations dealing with water and sanitation. Um, I know that you have been working on uh, using uh, the, the media for the work that you do by uh, helping organize uh, regional media sessions in, 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 I think, in Tehran and in Cairo. Can you share a few lessons from your perspective uh, about the usefulness of uh, using the media? Before joining United Nations, I was in charge of water affairs in Iran, and I was in contact with media, and I knew very well the role of media uh, on the improvement of the situation in water and sanitation, directly and indirectly. When I joined UN, I tried to use this indirect impact of media. And by indirect uh, impact of media, I mean the role of media in increasing public awareness shaping the, the, the mind of uh, people who are the main client and main user of water and sanitation facilities. And through the public, there will be an impact on decision makers, on politicians. For example, look at one of the challenges, which is uh, water uh, losses in, in, in drinking uh, system and even in irrigation. Water losses is huge in some capitals. It's uh, more than 50% of drinking water is being lost. So if we want to convince the governments, the decision makers, the people who are in charge of the budget allocation to spend more attention on the water loss reduction, one way is to, I mean, equip India, uh, media with, uh, with good information and facts and figures, and through them, we increase the uh, awareness of the public, and then public have uh, their channel to their decision makers and their MPs and so on. By this, we organized three workshops so far for Asian countries in Tehran, for Latin America in Mexico City, and for Arab states in Cairo. How many journalists uh, have you covered with that, do you? In each one, between 30 to 40 journalists from almost uh, average 15 countries were participated. Uh, they appreciate it very much. We are in touch with them and we provide them lots of information time by time. And every year in, uh, in Bonn, with Deutsche Welle also, we organize jointly with our sister program, uh, UNWD PAC, a forum on the water journalists. So, do you? How do you keep track of the, the effect of these of these of these journalist training programs? We encourage them when they, uh, I mean, uh, publish something, an article or a piece of news, and so on. They share it with us, and we try to provide them uh, updated information. And based on their uh, activities and their performance, we uh, invite them to uh, be a guest in, in some uh, major events like World Water Forum and so on. I think this is the way that we can encourage the journalists, water journalists and environmental journalists. Okay, Mr. Akadian, thank you very much. Thank you.